Hello and welcome back to City Skylines, where we're going to pick up exactly where we left off yesterday by building more shit. Just extend that out because it's annoying all of us, let's be honest. Unpause. So, we're still having a power issue. Um, let's see what our options are there. Coal plant is 19,000 with a pretty high upkeep as well, actually. 40 megawatts against 0 to 8 megawatts. I think it has to be done. Question is can I get a loan to fund it? I can. I was trying to avoid this loan situation. I'll tell you what, I'll pay back that one in the meantime. And I wanted another fire station down here. So, there we go. Right. So, since we started yesterday, something has happened which is very, very cool. Um, I know in the great scheme of things it's not really a big deal, but it is to me. We reached 10 subscribers, so thank you very, very, very much. I know it's a ridiculously small number and, you know, in the great scheme of YouTube it is literally nothing, but I am surprised anyone even watches, let alone subscribes, so incredibly grateful for that. And we're going to mark the occasion by building stuff to, um, to remember this momentous time um, as we unlock a high school. I think, yeah, that is actually a good spot for that. And this will be the 10 subscriber high school. Hmm, it's not grammatically correct. There you go, that's named in honour of all of you. Still not developing any major traffic problems, although we are getting to the point where um, I need to unlock something a bit bigger, maybe. Just for that thoroughfare. Now, what I'm aiming for next is... I think I'm going to create a, a one-way system into an area over here for a more upper-class community, let's put it that way. Um, First, what I actually wanted to do was expand this out. Is that wide enough? Yeah, that's about right. Okay. I'm hoping I've got on top of the sound issues, by the way, but if I haven't, or in case I haven't, I should say, I'm going to go and fix that right now. I'm wondering if I should actually connect these roads, because the block system creates problems. I'm going to leave those as cul-de-sacs. I'm going to apologise if that annoys any of you. Let's just jump into the menu a second and we'll turn the volume down. I just feel like I'm competing with the game sound all the time. Now, it's probably bothering some of you that this isn't technically straight because of the hill. Um, but when you look at it like this, it is actually... is actually not so bad. And obviously don't forget that this whole area is going to be bulldozed at some point as we as we expand. Um, still not getting much farming going on. 
Not enough workers. Well, we're working on that. And now we have a water problem. There we go. Get the water pump working again. Now, there's no demand for anything other than residential at the moment, so we will begin work on the area of Hala that we always planned. So we'll just build a single residential block back here. And then once once we sort of reach the coast and we're or at least we've got a, a big core of the city, I'm going to completely re-landscape this bit. I think Halo will stay, but all this area that's currently where we generate the bulk of our money, that's gonna be gone and completely redesigned. Um for the moment, it does its job. Now Okay, that's good. The high school's not at capacity. No major problems there. Let's see what else we've unlocked. Some Berlin landmarks there for you that I'm going to pop down in a bit. That's no, true that we have no parks. Maybe there's a rogue square somewhere I can plop a small one down on. Just for the moment. Have I unlocked anything else of note? No, not really. We'll just keep plodding along. Turn the speed up a bit so we're not wasting our time. Now the rail line runs up here and along here. We are going to want to bring trains into the city at some point. And something I've always struggled with is um, why doesn't that have water? Oh, that's why. Something I've always struggled with is the management of cargo using rail. So hopefully this time. I'll be able to get my head around that. I mean, part of me thinks you want to bring cargo into the outskirts of the city and then drive it in with trucks, but then you're just adding to your traffic problems when a train could just go straight through the centre and distribute from there. Because obviously the problem you've got is if your commercial districts can't get supplies from your industrial or from out of town, um, like these trucks here, if they're delivering something for... Um, a commercial building rather than an industrial building like this one is. You tend to find if they don't get there quick enough, it just goes off the road. It'll just leave. And then that building is not getting deliveries, which means <coughs> um, it goes out of business because it's got nothing to sell. These farms don't look very farmy to me. Okay, time for an ambitious expansion down here. And we're beginning to get a wee bit of demand again for commercial premises. I'm still going to keep the shopping area in the middle because, I mean, part of my thinking as well is if that people over here are working over here, then passing through the commercial district allows them along the course of one route to go to work, shop, go home. Um, and unlike SimCity, like all these guys, they have, a, they have a name, they have a family, they have a place they live, and a place they work. And that never changes, because obviously in the SimCity game that came out in 2013, part of the complaints people had was that 
people would get up in the morning, drive to the nearest place of work, and then drive to the nearest house. So they could end up getting up in one house, going to work in one place, driving home to an entirely different house before going to work the next day somewhere completely different. Um, and obviously, unless you're really looking for it, you probably won't notice. But when you know that's what's happening, you kind of you behave differently. I mean, that's why you don't tend to get traffic problems the same way you get in this game. Um, because really, in this game, it's all about knowing what kind of people you have in each area. I mean, <clears throat> you're going to develop industries that require highly educated people, and they'll tend to congregate around certain areas. Students will congregate around universities, and you've got to figure where would those people want to go, and how do I best facilitate them getting there? Creating a lot of pollution. Today's beverage is Rockstar Frozen Watermelon, which is fucking brilliant. And I didn't get paid to say that because no one knows who I am. <coughs> um, so we've still got to unlock a university. No library system in this game just yet. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I've got enough money for the road. I think I'm going to begin planning out a new sort of city centre <clears throat> that we can begin growing so that we can eventually remodel all this area. I was going to go for sort of like a high education area over here, but I might try and work that into the new city centre. Um, what's the best way to do this? Yeah, four lane road. And we'll see. I really, I wanted to build that on flatter ground, but not much we can do about it because Lancaster has some rough terrain, man. I suppose I could build it along the coast. Right, you have to bear with me now because I don't know if this is going to work quite the way I wanted it to. <clears throat> We're going to have our first Berlin landmark. That's not working the way I wanted it to. Oh, we definitely want some sports fields. That looks very much like a a circular Gaelic football field. What's this? Modern Art Plaza, Japanese Garden. It's not a very Japanese garden kind of city, to be honest. Um, see, now that fits quite nicely. But again, it's not really what I was aiming for. Yeah, sod it. That'll go there. And then we need, we do need to get a Berlin landmark in here. So we're going to have the world clock. No, that's it. That's off centre. What about if? What about if? Hmm, that's not quite centred either. Let's try again. got a new idea, so you have to bear with me. Right. This comes up, and this will connect the corners. And we go... Uh, see, now that's part of the problem, isn't it? Is it possible to equalise... Close enough. Okay, yeah. That's still a little bit skew if, isn't it? Move that back 
black one. Okay, I think this will get us somewhere. Is that now? Not quite. Boomtown, baby. Well, do you know what? It's never going to be perfect. It's definitely not going to be perfect now. I'm terrible at building cities. Absolutely terrible. Okay, so... Gonna have the world clock here. See, look, I'm doing my best for you guys. I, I know, I know it bothers people when things aren't quite right. Uh, we've got a problem with not enough water coming through, so let's try and solve that. Okay, that, I think that's that's really just down to the way the terrain is. There's not really much I can do about that, but hopefully we can flatten this out a bit. Right, so what we're going to have over here, once I get the water installed, is this is going to serve as an expanded centre region. Um, some more parks in. That's the east side gallery. Um, again, another Berlin landmark. That can go opposite. That can... I uh, see that's not evens either. We'll all just have to live with it. I'm going to change it at some point anyway to fix all this. I'm just... indulge me for a moment. And we wanted a modern art. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Now we're getting somewhere. Again. Go commercial here. Yeah. Residential on the outside. Wow, this terrain is difficult to work with. Okay. Now, I know it looks really weird at the moment, but just bear with me on it. Just work with me on it, people. I'll expand Whiteland a little bit. Commercial is going to take a long time to pop up, but hopefully the residential comes through a bit quicker. These people are going to need some services, which I don't have money for right now, so that's good. And then I really want to get a public transport system going, as well as some sport provision. Why aren't they getting water? Everyone else getting water? No. Now, 
Now, don't think I'm afraid of binning a city off and restarting if it all goes to shit. Um, at the moment, I'm just worried about roughly zoning areas and getting a bit of money together, and then we'll make something that looks a lot cooler eventually. At the moment, it's really about unlocking stuff so I can build what I actually want to build. I mean, it's good that it's given us this square to start, because this is where I envisaged the, the main part of the city being, anyway. Um, I don't expect us to expand up here or all around there or anything. It'll mostly be on this side, um, probably with some rural stuff along here. I'm going to keep zooming in on this, because I know this road and this is driving some of you crazy. That's something you never see. Tractors delivering things. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but what do I know? I'm feeling like it's not too far until I need to begin upgrading that, but one step at a time. What's that? Oh, it's a hot dog van. A lot of you probably saw that problem before I did, so I apologise. We are getting garbage coverage up there, so that's good news. Now, coming off the side here, does that work? Kind of. This redundant space here. Gonna make just a little park. Spend a bit of time on it. I really like that they give you this sort of freedom. Some bushes along here. Is there anything else I can pluck down? Actually, I could put something there, couldn't I? Do I have a... something small enough that I haven't already built? Oh, that's not far off. That is not far off at all. Maybe I'll slam that there. So, we've got a little bit of a park situation developing there. And again, going to be naming it after a real part of my hometown, so which is much more attractive than what I've built. That's a real place. have a policy here of parks and recreation. Mm. 
now we're getting a power issue. Which was only a matter of time. Let's just do that for now. See, and you can see the beginnings of what I'm aiming for here, you know. Here you've got the east side gallery, which is, um, it's basically, you know, independent and big name art along the side of what remains of the Berlin Wall, and it's a fantastic place to go visit. It's completely free, you just walk down the street, you can take a look at what people have painted there. Um, it's fantastic. If you're ever in Berlin, it's somewhere you definitely have to head. And this is the world clock, um, which actually used to be outside the office I worked in when I first moved here. Um, that's on Alexanderplatz, which is the um, the center or the plaza, I suppose, of um, the old east part of the city. And obviously, you've got the time here as well as sort of all the times around the world, and you can sort of figure out time differences and stuff with it. It's a very cool piece of um, piece of retro design. Um, Wish I could tell you how old it was, but I have no idea. Now, I can't help but notice that demand for industrial is going up. So, we will meet that demand. So that means expanding White Lund a bit. Now, if you have any ideas for the name of our new centre, by all means, slam them in the comments below, because I'm not going to be naming much that I build. Um, first time out. Same goes for over here. Um, you know, get your view out there, whatever you think. Um, we need to upgrade that road. We do need to upgrade that road. Cannot upgrade this road type. Yeah, this is a problem. I wonder if I can resolve that by having a one-way system. because that's going to begin to be a significant choke point. This here as well. Okay, well, this is what I said. I said I wouldn't be scared of bulldozing stuff, and I'm not going to be scared of bulldozing stuff. I don't like that. Okay, let's bring everything back. Not going to be able to replace the fire station at the moment, but that's fine. We can probably find a better location for it anyway. And we have another water problem. Fix. Nice. Things are filling up nicely over here. Let's get ourselves. Another wee bit of residential. Again, eventually, this is all going to busy up and we're going to need wider streets there as well, but for now, I'm quite happy to leave that small, as long as people can get around the industrial state relatively quickly. Um, because we need to get stuff in and out of there as a matter of priority, really. That's kind of the engine that drives the rest of the town. So, it's ugly as fuck, but it's fun functional. Um, we have, in this episode, expended Haler backwards. 
backwards in the directional sense, not in the developmental sense. We've constructed a crappy park and we've begun the outline of a new kind of city centre with some cultural landmarks and a few things cropping up. We've also expanded the Whiteland Industrial Estate and bulldozed all our farming capacity to build a massive road because that's what progress looks like. Thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you for another episode shortly. And thank you again to everyone who subscribed. Really do appreciate it. Hit like, hit dislike, throw some comments in if you hate what I'm building. I can quite happily bulldoze the whole thing for you if you've got um, a preference. This is collaborative, so let's collaborate. See you soon.